Hey everybody, Travis Bowman here. So, we all know that the harp guitar is an amazing instrument for a lot of various reasons. You know, obviously you've got your guitar neck accompanied by your five or six bass strings usually. In this case, I've got six on this dire harp guitar. But one thing that's not often talked about is the fact that, you know, you've got harmonics just like your regular guitar, but you also have a set of different harmonics right here. That can make things very, very interesting. That opens up even more possibilities for this instrument that um, might not be there for like any other instrument. Um, for example, you've got your harmonics right here. I think of this as being the 12th fret, right? Then you've got them up here. And then you've got the, uh, I guess the fifth fret equivalent down here. It's kind of the same thing down here. But in this case, we're uh, a much higher octave. So the big thing about the harp arm is that obviously you don't have a fretboard attached to it and you're kind of limited to only playing whatever note these sub bass strings are tuned to. Um, but like I said, we've got harmonics, so we've got a, a different world that we can explore with those harmonics. And uh, the big thing that's gonna be difficult for people is just finding them, right? Uh, especially in in a, in a live performance, there's nothing more frustrating than trying to reach for a harmonic and it's not quite there. There it is, right? Um, there's a very, very simple solution for this and it's called a Sharpie. Um, basically, we can just take this Sharpie, find these harmonics, kind of eyeball it a little bit. Okay, it's about right here. And then use that Sharpie to mark the location on the string itself and then you'll never have an excuse to miss a harmonic after that. So let's go ahead and zoom in and I'll show you that process really quickly. Okay, so I've just kind of laid the harp guitar kind of down in my lap like this. And let's take this first step. So this is gonna be my, uh, my highest gauge string right here. And I know that generally it's gonna be right around this point where the, the actual uh, arm and the string kind of intersect. About right there, so. There it is, I'm just gonna take my Sharpie. Let me check it one more time, about right there. Okay, I've got it locked down. So I'm just gonna go ahead and rub some of this little Sharpie on there. A pro tip would be to actually get underneath the string a little bit over here. So that way when you're actually playing the guitar and you're looking down on it, you can actually see it. That's kind of the whole point of this is that we want to be able to see those harmonics, right? Okay, so here we have this, this string marked right here. So I'm just gonna kind of come on the reverse side of it. So that way I can see it as well. Let's find the next one here. It's pretty close to the first one. There it is, got it, right there. You know you're right on the money if you can still hear that harp harmonic uh, ringing out as you're marking it. Okay, so here's kind of an attempt at an over-the-shoulder style uh, view that we've got here. So you can see that I've, I've gotten really over here on the left side of the string. So that way when I'm looking down at the harp guitar trying to figure out which harmonic am I going to hit, I've got them all clearly labeled to all those locations. And they all ring out nice and beautiful. Every single one of them. This is really, really great, really fantastic for switching it up and doing harmonics on those different sets. Now we've got all these harp harmonics marked, which means now we can have a lot of fun. 
Thanks so very much for watching this video. Be sure to check some of those links in the description below if you're looking to become a better fingerstyle guitar player. Check out my Patreon account. And thank you very much for subscribing. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.